Just over the border lies Ontario, America's playground. The sonorous thunder of Niagara Falls bids welcome good neighbor to almost three million visitors every year. From the Canadian side, the awe-inspiring majesty of the American and Horseshoe Falls is best appreciated. Legend claims that an Indian maid threw herself over the cataract when her lover died. From the story comes the name of the vessel, Maid of the Mist. Leaving Niagara Park Gardens, part of the 38-mile strip of beautiful parklands bordering Niagara on the Canadian side, we commence our journey on the King's Highway. Good roads mean more visitors, and Ontario's arterial system is thoroughly up to date. Well-equipped flying fields and regular airline service from all parts of the continent make the province easily accessible by air. Pretty nice, eh? But very capable, too. Just as reliable as the long-service, highly trained and dependable pilots. In Toronto is held the Canadian National Exposition, now 60 years old. It's the largest permanent exposition in the world. Ontario's exhibit. The Manufacturer's Building. The British Empire Pavilion. Wonders from foreign lands and the band shell are only a few of the many attractions of the show window of the nations. At least 65% of Toronto's 900,000 citizens own their own homes. From the Toronto Yacht Club Basin, white wings glide over Lake Ontario. Sailing boat regattas add beauty and thrills to our visit. Beating up to the mark, rounding the marking boy, and then with every stitch of canvas sending them home with a bone in their teeth, the yachts present a beautiful picture. Right in the heart of America, the yachtsman experiences the thrills of deep sea yacht racing. At Brampton are the largest gardens under glass in the world. Winter and summer, they're a riot of loveliness. It seems almost like sacrilege to pick such beautiful blooms. Think how these exotic orchids would enhance the beauty of an evening gown. Canada's eaglets nest in modern, well-equipped barracks somewhere in Ontario. The future defenders of the British Commonwealth of Nations come in their thousands from the Empire's far-flung borders to make ready for war. From Australia, New Zealand, India, Africa, Great Britain, and of course, Canada. The Royal Canadian Air Force ensign rises in fluttering folds and breaks in a challenge against all who menace this northern border of the Americas. The Union Jack and the cockade of the Royal Air Force is the ensign under which these sons of empire take to their wings. Off they go, the men of the Royal Canadian Air Force, upholding the hopes of free nations by their gallantry and courage. Now we're on the way to northern Ontario, a sportsman's paradise where huntsmen and angler find a land simply teeming with game.
Every form of sports activity is geared to every age and purse, presenting an irresistible attraction to the seeker after happiness and relaxation. The surging speed of youth, or the calm peacefulness of a land beautiful with the silences of nature. But men must eat, especially when the fish are Ontario's speckled trout. As the setting sun dapples the water with a glittering mantle of gold, the angler returns to camp. Bearing his catch proudly, he's eagerly welcomed by his friends. Game fish? Well, they're still kicking. To make sure that there are no doubting Thomases, the angler measures the big one that didn't get away. Mingling with the smell of wood smoke, the trout are cooked at the campfire. Oh boy, oh boy, do they look good. Speckled trout, a healthy out-of-doors appetite, what more do you want? To keep lakes and streams full of fish, fingerlings, young trout, are reared by Ontario's Department of Fisheries in fresh spring water, the only kind of water in which they can live. Packed in containers and taken to hundreds of lakes, streams, and rivers, they are set free to grow up into fine fighting game fish, the sort of fish that give any angler a run for his money. No visit to Ontario is complete without a trip to the town of Callender near North Bay. It's the home of those five amazing children, the wonderful little girls who have taken the heart of the world by storm, the Dion Quintuplets. From the Earth's farthest corners, eager visitors flock to see the most unique family in Canada, or the world for that matter. Five little girls, all born at once, all as alike as peas in a pod, yet each has her own sparkling personality. Look at those cars, that crowd. Admitted free every day, the weather of the Quint's health permitting, the visitors progress slowly past windows through which they can see without being seen. And here they are, the world-famous celebrated Dion Quintuplets of Calendar, Ontario. Their best friend is Dr. Alan Roy Dafo, the country doctor who brought the quince into the world and kept them in it. With this charming memory, we leave the quince of the uncountable other attractions of one of Canada's finest provinces, Ontario. Ontario.